At Peel Health Campus, we have a huge focus on training and education. So the ultimate aim of the education program is to improve the quality of care being delivered to the community. The team we have here at Peel Health Campus is called the QUEST team, which stands for Quality, Education, Safety and Training. And I think QUEST is really a great name to call us because we are always on the quest to find out how we can improve our services here. We use a multiple of strategies to um, provide us with this information, including risk management, audit, survey, evaluation, and all of this information then allows us to target our education to any gaps that we've identified or any areas of improvement. Wow, the professional training we do at Pale Health Campus, it's huge. So we run dementia, cognitive impairment training, diabetes, basic life support, advanced life support, paediatric life support, resource for kids. We run prompt study days, a lots of simulation. So a lot of education that you'll see is moving towards simulation. Our volunteers are absolutely amazing here at Peel Health Campus and with the resources that they've provided us, we've been able to deliver excellent nursing care. So an example of this is they have provided us with a Sim Mum, which is a simulation mannequin that delivers babies. When we received this mannequin, we were in our infancy of obstetric training and we did six weeks of obstetric training in emergencies that can potentially happen when you are having a baby. On the seventh week, we unfortunately did have an obstetric emergency in the campus with only positive outcomes for both mum and baby. And when a debrief occurred, the feedback from the staff was mum and baby are alive because of the resources that we've been delivered and the education that was delivered in the last six weeks. We now offer a lot of education in paediatric, like we now run a paediatric advanced life support, which is very important for both paediatrics and maternity, um, and obviously the, in the emergency department. So we involve all the key staff in that education, and that has been, because kids, although little adults, they are treated differently in an emergency situation, and it's imperative as an emergency situation that everything is spot on. The clinical care on Sarich has actually um, improved over the years by introducing um, certain practices like humidified high flow. That wasn't around 10 years ago, so we now have that in place and all the staff are very confident in using that. Um, we also have a, most of our staff are advanced paediatric life support and we're putting all of our staff through that at the moment. We have staff that are neonatal expertise, midwives and ICU. Feedback from our previous uh, paediatric life support courses have been excellent. They love it and I think it really empowers them um, in their working environment to be able to look after these kids from the Peel region. And the staff are able to practice skills that they might not be able to get to do on the floor. So we do intravenous access, we do intraosseous access. These are really important skills that you need to know for a sick child, but we only get to use them in emergency situations. So we're getting those skills before we get put in that situation. So we do a lot of de-escalation techniques and that training course SAFE, it's been a really valuable um, course for the, for the hospital so the staff find it very valuable but it actually helps with the nursing of the patients so ultimately it helps patients. So SAFE training is really practical and it's really hands-on so we do a lot of scenario based training so it engages staff to talk to their patients and figure out how they can de-escalate the situation. So as a group of people we acknowledge that being in hospital can be quite frustrating and it really can set off some behaviours in patients especially with cognitive impairment. So what we're able to do is we're able to understand the signs and symptoms of these frustrations quite early on in the piece. By doing that it really changes the patient's hospital journey. As a Quest Manager, my goal is to provide an excellent education hub to increase and provide excellent patient care because as Ramsey, we are people caring for people. Mm -hmm.